Objects in virtual reality can be made several ways. This one is made from something known as prims, and I'm right-clicking the building. And when I do that, you'll see the outline of all the different shapes. And if I click Edit, I'll be given information about the shapes themselves. And it says this is one object. It moves together, and it has a land impact of 158. If you click this more information, it gives you a perspective of how many prims, which are the different shapes in this object. Now, for some reason, it's not showing the number of prims here now, but this object is really just shapes. It doesn't have any scripts built into it. So it's got about 158 shapes. I'm going to close this, and I'll close this edit window. And I want you to notice a few other things. When I right-click this again, and I'm going to move the edit option over to the side, you'll see that I ha can move the building itself up and down. And you may notice that I've actually left some shapes behind, and now I'm moving it below the island. Um, so this is just an object that's sitting on top of the island. I happen to be the owner of this object, so that's why I was allowed to move it. If you don't own the object, you won't have the access to moving it. Some of the avatar clothes are actually objects, too, and I'm right-clicking the skirt I'm wearing, and you can see that it's made of a number of parts. Another thing that's variable about virtual reality is the land itself. And to change it, you do something called terraforming. Now, I'm right-clicking on the land, and I'm going to click Edit the Terrain, which allow, brings up this sort of mini menu. I'll move it over a little bit. And on top, you see a bulldozer icon. You could have gotten to that from your object menu as well. And you have some things that you can do with the land. I can flatten it, lower it, smooth it, and I can influence the amount of land that I'm changing at once and the strength of that change. I'm going to put the strength high, but the size low for a minute. And let's raise something so we can see the difference. Now I'm going to click over here, and um, I get a little nervous doing this because you will make some big changes. I don't know if you can see. I'm creating a little mountain right here. Now I'm going to stop creating that because I'm standing on top of the mountain as I'm doing it. So I actually raise this mountain right below me. And generally, you will not find too many sandboxes that let you do this. Um, it's a very limited space here. And you can really enhance or ruin a terrain by using that inappropriately. Objects can also do things. So I move to an open sandbox area, and I'm opening my inventory. And I happen to know that if I go over to objects at the bottom, and these are objects that were given to you by Second Life when you got your avatar, um, I can go over to the cart. And let me move this out of the way. I'm going to click and drag the cart onto the land. Now this will only work in sandbox areas or land that you own. And here's a go-kart. I'm right-clicking on this, and when I click Edit, what I'll see is that my go-kart is an object just like others, and I can find information as to who built it. But let's look at the Content button and see that this one actually has a script in it. So if I double-click it, I can see the um, programming instructions that were making this um, go-kart move and have a camera so that I can actually see what's happening when it's moving. And I'm going to close this and uh, let me close this window as well and now because this happens to have a script in it when I right click it you'll see one of my options is to actually ride it. Now this rides very quickly and I'm using the keyboard controls. You can ride all around the island and when you get to where you want to go, let me see if I can do this without going too far, I can click Stand. Now, you don't have to worry. Let me walk away from this. The object itself will disappear if you bring it to a different part of the Empire State College Island because the land itself has permissions given, and you won't have permission to leave this in other parts of the island. If you ever do want to know about the island itself, who owns the parts and pieces, you right-click, click About Land, and you can learn more about who owns the different islands that you're on, and some of the features that they've allowed you to do on that.
part of the island. Now, right now, I am allowed to build on this piece, which means this is a sandbox area. So have some fun and have a nice ride and look to see what other objects might be in your inventory as long as you're in an open sandbox area.